Hey guys, how's it going? It's Evil Dead Fan 1990 here to review an independent horror film, which, according to BloodyDisgusting.com, is the holy grail of true independent horror films. And that movie is the one, the only, Automaton Transfusion. Unrated and undead, one of the best zombie films in decades. Boy, what can I say about this? Well, for those of you who've seen it, some of you may not have liked it because of its acting. Well, because of it, the certain things, like such as the weak story involved and the acting. But other than that, this movie did have very impressive special effects. Now, some people like to think of this movie as, you know, a way for practical effects and how they work very well. Well, some people didn't like this movie because of its ridiculousness and how strange it was in... That's the thing. That's the thing that I liked about this movie. This movie was an out-of-the-box horror zombie film that had lots of action to it. Only of, and not very much, you know, dialogue. But it was very well made and put together. Even though I think the one thing that people didn't like about this movie was the to-be-continued ending they put in. Well, I did read up that the director, Stephen C. Miller, is in the writing... Um, well, not in the writing, but in the making of Automaton Transfusion 2. Um, I'm not sure what that one's going to be called, but I think that's what it's going to be called, just part two. And hopefully uh, they'll improve upon from this. Because most of this movie is good, just some of its parts are really lame. And the special features include deleted scenes with, you know, optional commentary from the director. Um, Suffer or Sacrifice, a short film by the director. Can You Hear Me Now, music video, another music video, can't say the name, uh, Trials and Tribulations, The Making of Automaton Transfusion, and of course, feature commentary from the director and its producers. And this movie, it's kind of like watching one of those DVD cams, you know, like after you make like a little DVD home movie cam thing. That's what the quality is, but other than that, it's a pretty well put together film. So give this a chance, check it out, and I think you can find it at Walmart now for $10. It's a shame that I bought this for Best Buy for $15. Could have gotten it cheaper. But still, it's an alright movie. So check it out. I give this at least 3 out of 5 stars. So be sure to check it out.